Hello, welcome to Learning Studio. Before starting this video, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to get the latest updates. Share this video. Give it a like and don't forget to share your feedback in the comment section below. Let's begin today's video. So in this video you will learn about multiaxial system for diagnostic disorders. The multiaxial system. The DSM-3 introduced a multiaxial or multidimensional approach for diagnosing mental disorders. The multiaxial approach was intended to help clinicians and psychiatrists make comprehensive evaluations of a client's level of functioning because mental illnesses often impact many different life areas. It described disorders using five DSM axes or dimensions to ensure that all factors, psychological, biological, and environmental, were considered when making a mental health diagnosis using the axes of DSM-4 multi-axial system for diagnosing disorders. Axis 1, Clinical Syndromes. Axis 1 consisted of mental health and substance use disorders that cause significant impairment. Disorders were grouped into different categories such as mood disorders, anxiety disorders, and eating disorders. Axis 2, Personality Disorders and Mental Retardation. Axis 2 was reserved for what we now call intellectual development disorders and personality disorders, such as antisocial personality disorder and histrionic personality disorder. Personality disorders cause significant problems in how a person relates to the world, while intellectual development disorders are characterized by intellectual impairment and deficits in other areas such as self-care and interpersonal skills. Axis 3 General Medical Conditions Axis 3 was used for medical conditions that influence or worsen Axis 1 and Axis 2 disorders. Some examples include HIV, IDS and brain injuries. Axis 4 Psychosocial and Environmental Problems Any social or environmental problems that may impact Axis 1 or Axis 2 disorders were accounted for in this axis. These include such things as unemployment, relocation, divorce, or the death of a loved one. Axis 5. Global Assessment of Functioning. Axis 5 is where the clinician gives their impression of the client's overall level of functioning. Based on this assessment, clinicians could better understand how the other four axes interacted and the effect on the individual's life, up to and including the DSM-IVTR. The multiaxial system was utilized to help clinicians fully evaluate the biological, environmental, and psychological factors that can play a role in a mental health condition. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to Learning Studio.